Hey everyone, how are you? All right, so today I'm going to be talking about Local Native's new album, which comes out September 9th, called Sunlit Youth. This album has three singles so far that have been released. Uh, the first one, Past Lives, which I really enjoyed the track. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of their Gorilla Manor days. Um, not 100%, obviously, they've changed it up a lot. But I really like it, and it kind of reminds me of it a little bit. Um, next, they have Villainy, which it's more of a dancey track. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's a lot more, uh, you know, keys and and just like a little, I'm not going to say like EDM beat or anything, which it kind of does, but it doesn't. I don't know. All I know is that song is catchy as hell. Really good track, really good track. And then the last one that they just recently released is Fountain of Youth. What a great song. The lyrics are amazing. Um, it's all self-explanatory when you read the lyrics. It's beautiful, beautiful track. Very catchy. It's going to be an anthem. I already know it. Um, okay, now I'm going to talk about how many tracks are on the album and the names of it. It's going to be 12 tracks. Starting off with Villainy, Past Lives, Dark Days, Fountain, uh, Fountain of Youth, I'm sorry, uh, Masters, Jellyfish, Coins, Mother Emmanuel, Ellie Alice, Psycho Lovers, Everything All at Once, and Sea Years. Um, I'm very, very, very excited for this album. And to let you know, if you type in on YouTube any of those that I mentioned, any, any of those tracks that I mentioned... Uh, there's more than likely a chance you're going to be able to see it be performed live. Somebody had recorded it already of them performing it live. And it's it's awesome. And I'm so excited for this album. Which is very good because lately I've been anticipating albums. And they've been shit in all honesty. Okay, It's been crap lately. Um... I'm sorry, I know I, I said I was going to, I know it's going off topic, and I was going to review the, um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, the Blood Orange album, I, I was going to, but then I listened to it, and listened to it again, and uh, I don't know, I just did not like it at all, even though at first it was getting catchy, but then I realized the lack of bass, the lack of every, oh, it's just horrible, wannabe 80s, ugh, this is gross, whatever, this is about local natives, and I'm just going to say they are a really amazing band. And if you don't know about them, check them out and check out their previous albums. Uh, yeah, man. Like, subscribe. Let me know. Later.